Well, nearly every single state in the U.S. is suing a major telecommunication company for its alleged involvement in billions of robocalls. So will these calls ease up? Our Kelsey Kernstein picks up the story from here. Hey, Kelsey. You know, Kelly, I think I speak for everyone. There is nothing that's going to make me more in a bad mood than getting a robocall. So here's the thing. 48 states right now, they're behind the complaint. There's no more playing around. They want a jury trial against Avid Telecom. For most Americans, ignoring robocalls have become a part of their daily routine. RoboKiller is a popular app many consumers started using in order to block some spam calls from coming in. Our estimates are there are around 80 billion robocalls a year to U.S. consumers. According to the Federal Trade Commission, phone scams on average last year swindled a median per person loss of $1,400. The FCC over the past five plus years has taken a significant interest in stopping the spam call problem or attempting to stop the spam call problem. There are a couple of things happening right now that could help eliminate unwanted robocalls. One being a task force formed last year made up of 51 attorneys general and the District of Columbia, all set out to investigate and take down those responsible for routing robocalls. From that came the lawsuit filed against Avid Telecom this week. The lawsuit accuses the company of making more than 7.5 billion robocalls Avid Telecom telling News Nation it operates as the middleman and never the original carrier. What the FCC has said is it doesn't matter if you're the originating provider, the term terminating provider, or something in the middle. All providers who are carrying voice traffic have an obligation to make sure that the traffic on their networks is legitimate. In a statement to News Nation, Avid Telecom says the allegations made against them are demonstrably untrue. Avid Telecom operates in a manner that is compliant with all applicable state and federal laws. Going on to say the company will defend itself vigorously and vindicate its rights and reputation through the legal process. With robocalls in the spotlight, scammers have gotten creative, a new way of spamming you. Text. So who should you look out for? Well, for starters, read the privacy policies. Most frequently, you are giving your information to what you at least think um, or believe is a legitimate provider, oftentimes is a legitimate provider, but for their privacy policy or terms of service, they are actually allowed to resell that data. It is upsetting because we can confirm from Patrick that no one is safe from robocalls. The application RoboKiller tracks trends. It shows that those areas with the most senior citizens, they're targeted the most. And you got to think, Kelly, they are the most vulnerable population when it comes to robocalls. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.